Hey, Daniela. My name's Andrew, and I'm the essay corrector here at IELTSpodcast.com. Thanks for getting this trial correction on international marketing. Now, I have a few things to talk about with your essay, because it doesn't follow the correct format. Um, but also, you've slightly misunderstood the question, but there are some areas in which you have sort of come close. Um, so this, what this question meant, the, the type of question that this is, is discuss both views and give your opinion. So one view is this, and that. So what we need is an introduction which states both of these things. So you could use while some people believe that international marketing is invasive and intrusive into the target country. Others are of the opinion Let's have a look one sec. What do you actually think? So you're talking more about the challenge to the company of marketing, but this type of question is asking you, because the IELTS exam always asks you one of a few types of questions. It can either be discuss both views and give your opinion, talk about the advantages and disadvantages, give a problem and a solution, um, or it can ask you a direct question. Um, so this is off topic because you've not discussed what was being asked. Um, so I'm just going to make it up. So now what we would be required to do is discuss why some people believe that international marketing is, in, is invasive and intrusive. So that would be the first body paragraph. Then we need to talk about this, which becomes the second body paragraph. And then we would have a conclusion. So that would be the structure I would follow. Introduction, where you highlight the ideas you will talk about. Then talk about the ideas fully, two paragraphs, introduce the idea, expand the idea. So you talk about the specifics and explain it. Then you give uh, an example that supports your opinion. So this tells your reader that your thinking is based on evidence and that it's credible and it's not just opinion. As well, when we give an example, we say, for example, and also, we don't use contractions in academic writing. Here as well, there should be another one.
that's not necessary. Yeah, so you've you've highlighted the challenges to a company and what we need is a discussion of both sides of the opinion before coming to your own conclusion. And this means being unbiased. Discuss one side of the argument, discuss the other side of the argument, and then tell us what you think. Um, Actually, British English. Furthering the process of globalization. And that's all you would really need for your conclusion. But the body paragraphs I would leave up to you. So right now, you're, you would struggle to score a six with this because it's so um, far from what was asked. But with this sort of structure, a really well thought out introduction, two body paragraphs, and then a nice little conclusion at the end, uh, will get you the results that you need. But if you would like to continue receiving these sorts of lectures, uh, you can subscribe to our course, the link to which is on this very page you're staring at right now. The course comes with eight essay corrections in total, over which time I hope to raise you to more than a band seven in IELTS writing. I do hope to be seeing some more of your work coming through soon, Daniela, but until then, have a great day and goodbye for now.